Terrific finishing prospect here in uh, the Randstad Open de France Dam in the little town of Arras with a lot of history in a very lovely part of northern France. So Leanne Pace chasing her first tour win, takes a two-shot lead into the final round ahead of Rebecca Coakley and Anya Monge, the Irish woman and the German. Dickstrom and Gurgley will certainly fancy their chances all the way down to possibly six under par. We'll feel they can do it on a course where you can go low. The rest of the top 20 perhaps with a little too much to do. And here is Leanne Pace. This big, for Eagle. Big putt. Big putt this for Pace. Oh, well, that really was a great chance. It's going to be birdie, so she'll move into the lead at 12 under, but she'll certainly feel that should have been an eagle. But Brewer mother a chance here to go to 11. Birdie putt at 13. No problems for the Welsh player, so Becky Brewerton at 11 under. Well, this is a big putt for Ursula Wickstrom. We saw her hit it way by with her eagle putt. And that's costly. Three putts on the 13th green. How important is that going to be at the end of the day? Well, it's getting to the nervy stage now, isn't it? Moving into the last half a dozen holes. Wickstrom and Gargley both looking for their first victory on the ladies' European tour. Oh, Nicole Gurgley making no mistake, making birdie on the 13th and moving now to 12 under to tie with Becky Brewerton. Up ahead to the 18th and Becky Brewerton looking to set the clubhouse target, but she hit a tee shot right into the tree. She's chipped out to here and then had a third out of bounds. So it is all going wrong for Brewerton at the last, playing herself right out of this French Open. Meanwhile, back in the 13th, pace for a birdie. She hasn't stopped smiling all the way around, but she's got good reason to smile now. Unfortunately, the smile soon disappeared. Leanne pays bogeying 14, 15 and 16 to drop all the way back to nine under par. Becky Bruton desperately needs this putt to go in. A little bit of right to left move, and that's a great putt. That's a double bogey, but still, it could have been a little bit worse than that. So a disappointing finish to her round. Oh, Let's she will be absolutely furious, Di, won't she? A hole that she must have been looking to birdie. Suddenly it turns into a seven. And I'm sure Nicole Gurgley is absolutely stunned to find herself over her third shot into 18. Looking as if uh, a par may well be enough. I wonder if she's looked to the leaderboard. Hitting a wonderful shot in there for a third shot, just a wedge. No problems at all. The 18th for Nicole. Next one would still like to knock this one in. A closing par. It's a big putt. That gives her outright second. So there's Erickson finishing one shot ahead of Becky Brewerton and Anya Monka. So Nicole Gurgley for a birdie at the last and a round of 66 and her first ladies European tour win. Wow, in the end it doesn't really matter. It would have been nice to finish with birdie, but she'll, I'm sure, be happy with the par. A closing 67, and that really is a terrific performance for the 24-year-old uh, from Judenberg. Not only her first victory, but the first victory for Austria and the ladies' European tour. Well done. So Nicole Gergely is the Randstad Open de France Dam champion, 13 under par, a two-shot win over Ursula Wikström of Finland, Becky Brewerton and Anja Monka share third place. And a little bit further down, good closing rounds by Stefania Croce and Tris Johnson. But victory goes to Austria and to Nicole Gergely. After the birdie on 14, I was two ahead, so I thought, wow, but I was so nervous then. <laughs> it's unbelievable, but I can't really... It's a dream came true and it's just amazing. I can't believe it. Here in Arras, it's been Austria's week, it's been Nicole Gargoli's week.